Turin. This mecca on the threshold of the Italian Alps has Olympic credentials as we set sail at the Palavella. Local Canadian heroes, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Victory in Vancouver, searching for world gold. American rivals, Merrill Davis and Charlie White. Silver at the Olympics, set to challenge for the top of the podium in Northern Italy. Championship figure skating on CBC presented by Artistry. 2010 World Championships from the Palavella in the Olympic city of Turin, Italy. Hi everybody, welcome inside the building. Scott Russell along with Olympic medalist Tracy Wilson. And you know Tracy, in an Olympic season, the World Championships in figure skating are always interesting. It's a chance for the gold medalists at the Olympic Games to put an exclamation point on their season by winning a world title. And for others, for the young skaters, the next generation, a chance to step up and look ahead to the next four years and maybe the next games. You're right, and it's so much fun to have a chance to look at some of the Olympic stars one more time in competition this season. But also, those new skaters coming up, a lot of depth in figure skating, particularly in the men. Redemption on the line for somebody like a Patrick Chan. These guys, they have their elbows out. They're hoping to knock off some of and establish themselves for the future of the sport going forward into the next Olympics. What better way for us to begin six days of coverage than with the dance and the Canadian superstars, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, the Olympic gold medalists in Vancouver. For the compulsory dance, the crowd's a little thin at the Palavella, sold out for the free dance. But let's take a look at Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Look at this, they came home March 2nd, Pearson Airport in Toronto. They came bearing a gold medal. It was a glorious victory, resounding in fact at the Pacific Coliseum. But the one thing that has eluded them in their spectacular careers, Tracy, is a world championship title. A world champion title, and it begins here with a compulsory dance. And as they were pushed in Vancouver for Olympic gold, Davis and White will also be pushing them here. Wonderful rivalry, bringing out the best in these competitors. These guys can't put a foot wrong. They have to do what they did in Vancouver, and so interesting. They won so many fans, but not just Canadian fans, by their performance there. Internationally, they've turned the world of ice dance upside down. A lot of excitement. People so excited of what Virtual Moyer did for the sport and what they're about to do. We'll continue to watch that great and unfolding story. And joining us, as always, here at the Palavella is Brenda Irving. Well, Scott and Tracy, as you know, it's been a whirlwind of a month for Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. A week after the Olympic Games, they headed back to their training center in Canton, Michigan, where they started preparing for these world championships. And they say the training time was short, but it was certainly very productive. We've had two more weeks of training, and uh, we feel like we're skating better than we were even before the Games. So we had some great performances at the Olympics, but we feel that uh, there's a little bit more to go, and this has always been our, in, in our plan, doing the World Championships. So this should be, uh, this is it, this is it for this program. So we're just going to go out there and enjoy it. There is one other Canadian team here in ice dance, that is uh, teenagers Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier. Uh, they were 12th at the last World Championships, 14th at the Olympic Games. They will be sticking around for the next Olympics in Sochi, Russia, so they want to see themselves start to move up the world rankings uh, starting here in Turin, Italy. Well, we'll get to the figure skating in just a moment, but right now let's head to PJ Kwan. PJ? Thanks, guys. So, there's been withdrawals from these, this competition, including the Olympic champion Shannon Zhao, Evan Lysacek, and Olympic silver medalist Yevgeny Plushenko. There seems to be two schools of thought, and I want to know, what do you think? Do you think skaters should be obliged to compete at a post-Olympic Worlds, or should it be for the young up-and-comers? If you want to weigh in on the discussion, I'm on email at pjkwong at pjkwong.com, or on my Twitter at skatingpj. And at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you what you think as well as what I think.